Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. You're watching Christian Adventure Gamer. I am your host, Daniel the Paladin. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing. Uh, the unboxing is Talisman Harry Potter, or should I say Harry Potter Talisman by The Op. I picked this up in a place in Fort Wayne called Darlington Warehouse. They have a lot of Christmas goods, but this year they had tons of board games. So if you're in Fort Wayne, Indiana, stop at the Darlington, uh, it used to be called Darlington Farms, but now it's Darl Darlington Holiday Warehouse. Uh, they actually have 10% off on all games by USAopoly. So um, this is actually a gift for somebody. And so normally I wouldn't open a game and do an unboxing uh, when it's a gift. However, I'm actually going to paint the miniatures in this game. So let me go to the table here. There we go. So. We are, I am going to paint the miniatures to this game for that person. I'm not going to say who that person is because they might be watching this video. But I'm going to be painting the miniatures. And I'm going to do special videos of me painting the miniatures for this game. And I'm going to only give access to my Patreon uh, members or Patreon subscribers. Uh, so that way they actually get special content uh, for being a Patreon. And so that is one of the cool benefits about being a patron. I'm going to try to do uh, special um, content for them to help uh, help them as they're helping me uh, with my channel. Also, I do have a special giveaway. All right, so the special giveaway is uh, Gloomhaven Jaws of the Lion. So this obviously is sealed and is going to remain sealed. Um, but one lucky subscriber is going to get this. Also, if you are a Patreon member or subscriber, uh, your entries will go into this game. And so I'm actually going to be running this game from to the end of December, January, to the end of February, until March 1st. So that gives me more chances to get this shown to various subscribers. Let them know about the contest. All you got to do to enter is be a subscriber. Uh, email me at christianadventuregamer at gmail.com and in the subject line go ahead and put JAWS in the body of the email go ahead and put your name and uh, shipping address so that way whenever we choose the lucky subscriber uh, they will actually we'll just send that right out there's no like having to wait reason I do it that way is I was doing it where I would draw a name I'd have like all these names and I draw one and then I'd run an email, like I'd run the contest and, and I'd do another video saying who won and they needed to contact me and sometimes I never did. Uh, and this way it's just easier. It's uh, you enter once and that's it and if you win you get you get something. I don't have to wait for someone to get a hold of me. I can just go ahead and send it out right away. So if you're interested in Gloomhaven Jaws of the Lion, uh, just be a subscriber and email me at christianadventuregamer at gmail.com, like I said. And also, if you are a Patreon, you will have your entries um, added to this contest over the, over those next few months. So, like, obviously, if you want to know more about the entries I'm talking about, hop over to Patreon. There is a link in the description below that you can that takes you right to my Patreon page, and you can understand uh, how we do the entries. So, hey, there's that. All right. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this one. All right. So, uh, the artwork is mm, not bad, right? Um, I'm just glad it's not stills from the movie on the front of the bo box, but it looks like there's some stills on the cards here, as you can see. So, I might not open up all the cards because if it's anything like regular Talisman, there's going to be tons of cards, and I don't want to have to go through that many cards. Especially since this is a gift. Try to be careful not rip the box or cut the box. Because like I said, it's a gift. There we go. Ooh, it looks like it's just a slip cover over it. So I wonder what it actually looks like. I'm gonna remove this. Put this slip cover back on uh, when I'm all done. If I can, that is. Ah, there we go. Hmm. 
Mm, I love that smell of fresh board game, don't you? Yeah. So the Harry Potter rule book here. Mmm, I love that smell. <laughs> Good. Uh, I like the artwork. Obviously, it's got actual pictures of the different characters on the cards. Gives you that uh, aesthetic of actually watching a Harry Potter game. And for me, it actually makes it easier for me to paint the miniatures because I paint the miniatures in the color and the likeness of the actual characters that, you know, the character cards. So they're very basic colors, it looks like. Like uh, Dumbledore's beard, obviously. Uh, looks like it's white and gray with some shadowing. So that should be pretty easy. All right, then we have the board here. Let's uh, hop this back over. So I'll move this out of the way. Beautiful board. Look at that. The thing takes up the whole screen. Look at that. Beautiful. Get a little tug in that direction. So. I like it. I like it a lot. So the bridge to cross is over on this side. So this is basically like the starting city for some of the heroes. So remember some of the, well, I guess they're not necessarily heroes in Talos when you have some that are like chaotic, some that are good. So, love the board. Nice. Uh, fold that back up. Put this back in. Not sure what point of that is. Obviously, you got some uh, tile or um, dials. I'm gonna say dials, not tiles. Dials. So they they keep track of your magic in your um, arcana. So it says no magic, uh, might, and uh, life. And so. That's one of the things I like about this updated version from the op. Like, I have the the version from um, Kingdom Hearts, and that version came with dials, so it makes the game a little bit easier to manage, in my opinion. Because in the original Talisman, all you do is get cones. So, here's some other tokens. Let's do one token here. See, pops out really good. I'm going to put that back. Because I don't want to rob that person of that token to pop out. There we go. Another piece of cardboard here to protect the miniatures. So let's go ahead and take a look at these. These miniatures actually feel pretty solid. So that's kind of cool. So like here's Hagrid. He actually feels like a piece of chunky plastic. Like he doesn't feel cheap and flimsy, so like it feels like there's like some actual quality here. So there's that Hagrid. He's got his little umbrella, getting ready to cast a pigtail onto somebody. Uh, who's this? Oh, what's her name? Um, Lestrange. Yes, Lestrange. Uh, we have... Man, it's been so long since I've seen the movies. Draco Malfoy. That's it. He's got his nice little tie here. So I'll stand up and show you these. I guess it feels like a chunky piece of plastic. Uh, strange. I think it's less strange. It's loose. I think it's less strange. McGonagall. Professor McGonagall. And again, she feels like a like an actual chunky piece of plastic. She doesn't feel cheap. Wormtail. Let's see if it 
do it this way. Is that better? There we go. My shadow. Oh, the Dark Lord himself. <laughs> Again, feels like a chunky piece of plastic. I like, I like the quality on this. Uh, and then Professor Dembadur. This looks like Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. And we have. Draco's dad. Mr. Malfoy himself. Alright, so, liking the quality of the miniatures. That's awesome. Let me put those back in a bag. So, just move those off to the side and do that later. Well, we got some dice here. We got four six sided blue dice. The game actually needs more than that just because you have more players. Like, uh, Normally the game plays up to, uh, I think, five. I'm not sure. This may only play up to four. Doesn't say on the back, so not too concerned right now. Uh, and then these are the little clips for the um, dials. And we got the character cards. That's pretty interesting. Anything underneath? Nope. Nope. All right. Hold that tape over on the other side. There we go. So here is the backs of the cards. Ah, Lucius. Draco. Peter Pettigrew. Bellatrix Lestrange. Rubius Hagrid, uh, Minerva McGonagall, Harry Potter, uh, Albus Dumbledore. So they all look as they should. Harry has some extra lighting on his face so he doesn't actually look like he's the authentic, you know, uh, still from the uh, movie. But that's okay. So what's this? Ooh, the Dark Lord himself. So. If I remember correctly, in this game, they are all trying to race to the Dark Lord, some to help him, some to defeat him. So that's cool. I like that. Double-sided. So, all right. Not too much to this game. I like that. Uh, the cards. We got lots of cards. So we got some... Uh, ferrets and purchase cards. Good. I'm glad, I'm glad they put on a pool tab. It makes opening cards so much more easier. There we go. We got some merfolk on here. All right. So ferret cards. Let's see here. It's got a lot of text on there. Uh, you are a ferret for two turns. Instead of a toad, you're a ferret. So that's cool. <laughs> I like that. I really like that. Uh, ferrets are my favorite animal, if you did not know. I used to have uh, showbread ferrets um, a while back. Uh, definitely hollow cards. So obviously these are like the talismans. You need these to get into the um, third, uh, third section of the board where the crown and command is. But in this one, obviously, it's um, the Dark Lord. Uh, spell cards. Let's see here, spell cards, spell cards, spell cards. Here we go. Ah, let's see here. Uh, Ascendio. So you can actually do a little hand wave if you wanted to. Uh, Parate. I, I probably mispronounced that one, but that's okay. Uh, Confutus. So, uh, Episki. So, that's cool. They actually like, give you the, the way to wave the wand. So if you uh, stopped at like Universal Studios, uh, Florida, and uh, stopped in the Harry Potter world, uh, you could get yourself a wand and you could play with the wand with this game. All right. So then we have uh, encounter cards. So 
Let's see here. We got the Merfolk, Centaur, uh, Argus Fitch, and Mrs. Norris, the cat. There's the Basilisk. Woo! -hoo. So it's got a Mite of Four, so you gotta take it on with a Mite of Four, which you'd think that the Basilisk would actually be stronger than a Mite of Four. Because here you have the uh, Hungarian Horntail with a seven. The Basilisk was a pretty big creature, pretty nasty. Chinese Fireball, so we got the different dragons on here. Fletcher, Serious Sir, Snape is on here as uh, an encounter. Well, I guess it's, um, you roll a die based on what you roll. Uh, something happens to that nature. So, let's see here, let's, uh, so you can read it. Yeah. Because you never know if he's good or bad. Uh, Horus Slughorn, so I'm not going to sit here and read them all. Uh, that's cool. I like I like that they got the characters in here. That's this, this game is dripping with theme, covered in stink sap. Attacked by spiders. Oh no, not spiders! Sword of Gryffindor, Marauder's Map. Nice. And there's Deathly Hollow cards. All right. So I'll go ahead and put those back here like this. Those there, these there, put those back in the box. Oh, I'm almost sad to give this game away. I may have to go out and buy myself one. But not too sad. I should I should really clarify, I'm not too sad. Um, because I think the person I give this to really is going to really appreciate it. So here's a purchase deck. So it gives you some things to purchase. So for example, a lantern, wand, uh, flow powder. Eh, so I'm just not gonna read them all. Just bir uh, birdie bots, every flavor of beans. If you're gonna have this game out, go ahead and have play bamboozle at the same time. You never know what bean you're gonna eat. Chocolate frogs. Uh, beaded bag. Well, that's cool. Portkey. Here's some other encounters. In the outer ring. So these are things that you would encounter in the outer ring. So are these all up? They're all the same. All right, as far as the same deck. So we got Dobby, Fang, uh, Lockhart. That guy is a joke. Um, Creature, uh, Oris. So I'm not gonna read them all. So Devil Snare. So obviously here, all the different things that you could run into, like Death Eater. Troll in the dungeon. Ah, oh, there's some other characters like Ron Weasley. You'd think that he would actually be in this game. Or even uh, Hermione. Well, that's okay. Let's get through here. Spotted by Muggles. There's a lot of cards. It's not a Thunderbolt, the Firebolt. There's a Crystal Ball. Tell your fortune. Broomstick. All right. So that concludes everything that goes into this game. So thank you for watching this unboxing. And uh, stick around. I'm going to have more unboxings. Thanks for do. tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.